holiday. Everybody wants to take a holiday. <laughs> hey, all right. I just got out the phone with Dick Klein. He puts the K in the KF airfoil. Yes, the Dick Klein. What I'm going to do is at the end of this video, go to our website, rcpowers.com. We have a video blog page. I'm creating an entire KF section over there. So make sure to check that out as well as a flight report of the video that you're about to see in, in 20 seconds here. So the video you're about to watch right now is me and Keith testing out four different KF airfoils. What we are doing in this video is we need to determine for our own benefit which airfoils are going to be the best for the SU-35 High Alpha, which I'm going to be finishing up in the next couple months, make a real nice version of that. And then I also need to know which airfoil is the best airfoil for the vertical takeoff airplane, something for slow flying and, and, and transitioning from a hover to forward flight and back again. So that's what we're doing here. Oh, very nice. Yeah, this is a Mirage 4000. Yes. So this whole this whole deal is oh, yeah. KF oh, airfoil it. testing, right? Ah, oh, so this, now here comes out the is, real stuff. Wait a minute. This is all airfoil testing. Yeah. Oh, and that's, that's nice little tape. Everybody I was hates gonna tape. Do, oh, yeah. and that's that's nice. It even looks good. It does. Okay, so here's our controls. So what's pitch? Now I have it soft in the back and a lot in the front yeah. because oh, yeah. I don't Look want to destroy that airfoil. Nice. That looks huh? funny. Yeah. What? Nothing. What was that little dance? Nothing. What? Nothing. Nothing. Because usually it's soft in the front. Oh. I don't. I don't think the canards need to be as wild. They're quite as that, um, you know, exaggerated. <laughs> Okay, there. Now it's dialed in. So this is the control, as the Mythbusters call it. This is like our zero test. Right. So let's try a speed pass. So that's the speed it wants to pitch up. Yeah. Up All right. Let's bring it in and put an airfoil on. All right. Okay. Good. Right in the dirt. Yeah. That was our control. That was our zero flight. This is just a flat plate foamy. We've got the new, oh look, a new smaller WellGuard 370. So this is a smaller, lighter motor. This plane's about 19 ounces, and it still moves it really fast. So now we've got the feel of it, uh, just as a regular plane. Now we're gonna put one of the airfoils on it. All right. We're starting with number two, because that's the one we always use. We've used airfoil two on the SU-35, and we've used it on the X-29. So we know this works good. Start from the known, work your way into the unknown. It feels faster, Keith. It looks faster. Yeah, it does. So this just feels a little bit more sporty. And it looks faster. It to me, slips. it looks faster. As soon as you threw it, yeah, yeah. See, oh, that's it, it, it right it there. It slips through the air much faster. Yeah. And so, you don't get the shakes at the higher speeds. Oh, very nice. nice. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, very, nice. look, my plane talks. Oh yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so KF Airfoil 1 on the bottom. I've never tried this before on any plane. Ready for some good inverted flying? Well, let's see. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh my God. Whoa, you weren't kidding. <laughs> it doesn't want to. It doesn't like it. <laughs> it does want to fly upside down. That's no, exactly that what we were thing saying. didn't even do it at all. Do you see that? All right, this is where they said it was good. It's like the drop, the high alpha stuff, because you're going belly first, so you're going KF first. Right. You know, it's funny, it just wants to be on top. It That's just exactly not... what I figured, and I've asked everybody. I said, if the KF on the top works so good, how do you put it on the bottom? Yeah. And I've never really gotten a super straight answer. No, I don't, I, I'm not, I wouldn't, uh, I, I don't, don't know, like recommend it. No, this I as much. Like I don't it. think this no. is as good idea. Yeah, see, there kind of the space shuttle approach. Yeah. yeah. I can feel it sitting on a weird cushion of air that wasn't there before. So I can see that benefit. It's made its own turbulence. Yeah, it's sitting in its own air bubble. Yeah, it, it's, it's got a little bit more on the approach. And it's you know what, maybe cush. it's made for a different design of plane. You're putting these all on the same plane to see what they do. And maybe the idea is that that may fit on another design, not well, this one. Yeah, why? Hold on, let me get my book here. So we're trying the four different major categories of KF airfoils. Now there's a bunch of different degrees, but we're trying the major four. And we're trying them for our own reasons. Uh, there's three basic things I need to know. One, I need to know what's the best airfoil for high alpha for the SU-35 project. 
Uh, the second thing I need to know is what's the best airfoil for slow flying at a, at a, at a low angle of attack. That's going to be for the vertical takeoff plane. I'm going to need an airfoil that really helps with a lot of lift going real slow at a low angle of attack. So this is F-35 testing we're doing. This is the beginning of the F-35 testing. And then the third one I need to know is what's the best weight bearing? What, what's good for carrying a payload, extra servos, extra motors, oh, yeah. uh, onboard cameras, what's the best weight bearing foil? So what we've got here is a, is a, uh, a platform that has detachable KF airfoils. We can take these on and off. So the reason why is because I want to have the exact same plane on the exact same day. So weather is not a factor, plane's not a factor, there's all those factors are ruled out. So we're just getting pure airfoil testing. This is the number three. Okay. This is the double lifter, see? It's got a step yeah. and another step. So this, I hear the guys say, it gives it a lot more lift, Whoa. and this is better for carrying weight, I hear. Let's give it a try. Okay, you know what? Well, I need more up trim, which means it's getting more lift in the back, which yeah. is bringing my tail up slash nose down. Yeah. So I can already feel the difference because it wants to retrim. Hmm. Yeah, there's some more lift on that one. It looked like it kind of hung in the air yeah. a little bit longer yeah. right there. Yeah, I can feel that. That's interesting. Let's try speed. Will it do speed? You know what? I can feel a little bit extra drag from the extra lift. Hmm. Whoa. So I definitely feel the extra lift on that double one. And that's all we're looking for. Right. All right, now this next one will be pretty interesting. This is new. We'll have the one on the top and the bottom. All right, this should be a good one. Yep. High speed and high alpha is what I'm thinking. Okay, it feels good. It's not moving around at all. It looks real stable. Okay, it's pitching up compared to the last one. Which is? Which tells me it's getting less lift in the back which confirms our previous test, the number three heavy lifter definitely gets more Here. lift than the other Air Force. Stay on one side. Try some speed. Oh, wow! <laughs> that, that stays rock solid. Did you that, see that? That doesn't go up or down. And I'm not even trimmed in and that holds it straight. Yeah, look yeah, at look that. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Okay, that's the speed wing for sure. Ooh. Wow, nice tight maneuvers. Well, the roll, Keith, it, it responds better on the roll too. Watch this. See how sharp yeah, that is? Yeah, yeah. That put a star by that one. Yeah, that is more. That is more at high alpha. Yeah, it's this is definitely a good one for high alpha. Because you've got that cushion on the bottom. It's a lot softer in the wobble when you're doing that. Yeah. I know it still does it, but it's not as drastic. You know what? If I had a larger plane, yeah. I wouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was our flight testing. Now the flight report, since we're running out of time, is on our website, rcpowers.com, on our video blog page for December. And for next week, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up gyros on your planes. Reason being is I've been getting a lot of emails on how do you set up a gyro on your plane, which is great. That's good to hear because guys are going, I like what I see on the video. How do I do that? That is going to be a two-part series. Next week is going to be part one, which is how to set up a gyro on an Elevon or Delta mixed airplane where you have the elevator and ailerons working together in a mix. The week after that is how to put a gyro on just a normal setup plane, like a flying yak or something like that. Remember we have new videos up every Saturday morning here on YouTube, as well as a bunch of bonus stuff on our website, rcpowers.com. Can you tell us a little bit how you came up with the KF Airfoil and the history behind that? Yeah, well, it was it was a great learning experience. Um, what I wanted to do, uh, I was working on the 24th floor of an office building overlooking Bryant Park in uh, the New York Public Library, and uh, while working on various assignments with a writer, we decided to make paper airplanes and throw them out the window. 